In this video, we're going to go over SKU Grid General Repricer Settings. In order to get to the General Repricer Settings, you'll need to click on Settings, then click on the General Repricer button. You'll notice that there are two options here. One is for safe repricing and one is for super safe repricing. With safe repricing, it tells you that if, one, if the item goes back in stock, it should have been in stock for at least 24 hours before being sold again. Also, if the price is less than the current selling price, then it should not be less than 60% of the average price for the last three days. Super safe repricing, the same applies for out of stock and in stock. If the item goes back in stock after being out of stock, it has to be in stock for at least 24 hours before it's allowed to be sold again. The difference here is that if you have a price decrease, so if the price is less than the current selling price, then SKU Grid will check to see if it's not less than the average price for the last 24 hours. Otherwise, it will not reprice, meaning it will not drop your price. In that instance, if the price decrease is not less than the average price for the last 24 hours. The purpose of these settings is to protect you from supplier fluctuations. There are plenty of suppliers, uh, Amazon and Walmart in particular, where they have constant price changes throughout the day on a single item. Also, a single item can go in stock and out of stock multiple times in a day. So SKU Grid has these safety measures to help protect you against those fluctuations until they have stabilized. So if you have, you only need to have one of these turned on. So, you know, if you want safe repricing, turn that on. If not, turn on super safe. It's totally up to you. This also, another reason for having this setting, if you do 30 day listings, um, you know, every time an item goes out of stock and comes back in stock, SKU Grid would then relist your item if you had it set to auto relist your item. Now, if that item goes in and out of stock multiple times a day, you're getting hit with uh, tons of insertion fees per day on a single item. So this helps to protect you from that. So if it, it's less necessary if you use good till cancel listings, um, but in any event, if you have one of these turned on and then you say, hey, I got a notification that my item is back in stock. Why did SKUGRID not make that change? Well, you can always look at that item and see when did it come back in stock. Um, there's a history link on your items, you know, that you could click. This item will probably have no history, but um, there's a history link that you can click and check to see when the item was in stock and out of stock. You see here, SKUGRID is recording its observations of this item. So you'll notice that the item has remained. There's a stock column. Going a little faster. There's a stock column. There's a price column. So what you'll notice is if stock equals one, that means the item was in stock uh, at the time that SKU Grid checked it. So if you see that it went from zero to one, and that's within the same 24 hours, that is why, yes, you received an email notification saying the item was in stock, but SKU Grid did not change it back to being in stock because you have one of these options turned on and SKU Grid is waiting until that item has been in stock for the last 24 hours. Another scenario is if you have a price decrease, sometimes there's glitches on supplier websites and you know the price can be $39.99 one minute and then the next minute it drops to $4.99. Uh, your item sells because of course you have your settings set up to drop your price, but by the time you go fulfill the order, the price is now back up to $39.99. So uh, in that situation, these options also protect you from SKU Grid decreasing your price. It's going to wait to see that that price drop has remained stable. Otherwise, it won't reprice it and drop your price low. Um, and that's you know also to help protect you. So you can choose whether or not to use these options or not. Um, and you know just save your settings.